course, uh, the first person I would like to introduce is a champion from the city of champions. Please welcome Mayor Bill Smith. Well, thanks very much, uh, Don, and uh, good morning, everybody, and uh, a special good morning to you, Chris. Uh, it's certainly uh, an honor for me to be here today to uh, support a, a, a terrific program and, of course, to uh, welcome a very courageous uh, young man to our city, Christopher Knowles. You know, our city is, of course, uh, Don and June over well, it has a reputation for excellence in, in health care. Our medical professionals and institutions here in our city are certainly among the, the finest in the world. We're also recognized as a leader in organ and tissue transplantation with the number two highest number of organ transplants in all of the country. However, uh, there is work to do yet both in Edmonton and, and across the nation. We need to shorten organ transplant waiting lists and bring us uh, closer to the day when every Canadian, every Canadian who needs a transplant can get one. The key, of course, to achieving this goal is to continually raise the awareness. And I know that uh, as more Edmontonians become aware of how important an issue this is, uh, they will find out how they can help and uh, they will step forward and make a difference. Uh, that we can be sure of as Edmontonians, as Albertans, and, and of course as Canadians. When it comes to uh, making a difference, uh, we definitely have an outstanding example with us today in Christopher Knowles. You know, Christopher, when I first walked in, of course, I thought you had a Calgary Flame hat on. But, uh, but I find out he's, uh, through Don, that he is a pretty staunch supporter of the Maple Leafs, and that's good. <laughs> but Christopher, I want to say that I'm, I'm, I'm so impressed uh, by your courage and your commitment to this issue. Uh, your dedication is, un is unbeatable, and uh, it's another great model for us and for young people uh, that are with us today. Um, and of course, uh, I want to also compliment both you and George uh, Marcello, um, and, and you can both take great pride in what you've accomplished so far in the step-by-step -step and next-step programs. And so, uh, I just want to say God bless you and uh, keep up the great work. It's this tremendous example that you're showing to uh, young people of today and, and adults of today. So, I want to take a moment to urge everyone here today to take the message of uh, organ donation to heart and consider becoming a donor. So, ladies and gentlemen, to mark this occasion and to thank Christopher and George for their visit, I'm honored to uh, present them with both with this small gift here. Sometimes we don't get the 
you support as we're going from community to community. But you know what? Edmonton has never failed us, has never come short on the uh, support. And I'm going to explain why. First of all, uh, we, we were very fortunate to have the uh, King of Hearts, Don Clark, organize all the activities for us in Edmonton. Let's go. He just did an incredible job. Thank you, Don. Also, I want to thank Applebee's Restaurant. You know, Christopher gets pretty hungry on the road. Yeah, he, this kid eats a lot. He might look small, but he eats a lot. Applebee's over here has offered to feed us throughout the whole campaign. We're here for four days in Edmonton. Not only in Edmonton, but also in Calgary and also in Red Deer. Uh, the folks from Applebee, can you please stand up? Also, of course, you know, we need a place to sleep. You know, I just, we got to get some sleep. Even though this, this kid over here likes to stay up all night, and it, it, it takes us all night just trying to get him to bed. Uh, he loves his swimming. He loves, especially when there's that slide, uh, you know. And, and I got to tell you something. We want to thank the Travel Lodge. The Travel Lodge for, for helping us out with four days of accommodations while we're here in Edmonton. And not only that, did you know that Travel Lodge has a, a two-story water slide? That was great news for Chris, wasn't it? So thank you. Can you please stand up, uh, Pat? <laughs> and also, where would Chris be if he didn't have people accompanying him on his walk? I mean, you know, he, 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 he like as, as you. Students probably noticed he likes talking a lot, right? I don't know if he was talking to everybody, but he, he just doesn't. He just keeps talking and talking, and when he walks alone, it's pretty hard to talk to people, right? So we're happy that we had students from the Rites of Passage that joined in. And can you please stand up? Thank you guys for coming out. And also from St. Rose Catholic School, can you please stand up? the officers here, but what a great escort that was, eh? From the Edmonton Police Department? Let's get that brought up. And while I'm on this note, I want to really thank the uh, media for coming out, because the media are our amplifiers to this important message. Uh, it'd be pretty hard trying to yell this message throughout Canada. We are so grateful that the media came out today to cover this message because it's an important message. It's a critical message. It's an urgent message. And we need this message to get out. Because you know why? We have 4,000 Canadians right now that are waiting desperately. Chris, Christopher is one of, the, one of those Canadians. There's many other kids that are in the hospital right now. That, that, can't walk outside the hospital. And you know what? We have the potential to save all these people. But what we need to do is bring this issue to the attention to everyone, including the three levels of government, including the media, and including all Canadians from coast to coast, because that's Christopher's wish. Christopher's Can wish check on that, please? is to save okay. every single Canadian on the okay. waiting list. Not just a few Canadians. He feels he can save all of them. And we have the potential to save all of them. And you know what? 4,000 Canadians are worth it. And any other Canadian that might, one day might have the misfortune to be on the waiting list, we need to make this issue the number one issue of the day. So as we continue saying, we're hoping that the Prime Minister uh, and all the other candidates running for the top job are going to make this one of the hot issues of the day, because we're going to let them know that 4,000 Canadians are worth it. 
we have to convention this evening. Now, you know, I'm going to introduce another gentleman up here, and uh, you're going to hear it's firsthand. Really <laughs> hand <laughs> no, uh, I, I it think it's like wonderful um, to be near the end of your life. And you're going to hear it firsthand. No, I think it's like wonderful to be near the end of your life. And then we see a transplant. I'm proud of the things they've been through. What and it, it really gives me a lot of pleasure to, to introduce this gentleman because when I did my walk across Canada, he was there for me. And he looked after me. And he did so many things that, that I was treasuring right up to today. Everybody, please give Mr. Fox Moran a round of applause. If he's going to live, we don't know what's going to happen, and I don't want and what's wrong to miss with, uh, anything in life that I can let <laughs> Just kidding. Before. Uh, thank you. Good morning. I, uh, I just want to uh, <coughs> mention uh, just you're very right briefly. Right now, yeah, I'm just driving. I'm just Today you're witnessing an endeavor that's being taken upon by but this young fellow. But it's quite a commitment for you, though. Of uh, such great importance. Huge commitment for my whole family. And, and I think that this information and the need to this walk work of uh, uh, liver, deserves a liver and organ and tissue donation, donation liver and is so uh, great. Okay, thanks, Kelly. Thanks. The people uh, so need the, the information the out there, the awareness, and, and it has to start Yikes. in our homes, in our communities, in our cities, and across the nation. That's very nice. I myself That's received thanks, a liver Kelly. transplant four and a half years ago, and if it wasn't for the decision of the people that lost their loved one, as tragic as that was, I wouldn't be alive today. And this young fella is wishing for an extension of life like some of us that we have. We have been given an extension of life as a result of transplants and organ and tissue donations. So I think everybody across Canada needs to get behind this young fella with their support and the need of awareness about organ and tissue donation is very, very important. So with that, I thank you and I really want to wish this young fella a lot of luck. Our prayers are with him as he walks and as he travels across Canada and makes his way across Canada. Our prayers from our Aboriginal community I'll always be with you. Thank you. Thank you, Fox. Thank you, Fox. Uh, just so to give you a little touch of what Christopher has been uh, able to accomplish while he's been here this very short time in Edmonton. Uh, yesterday he was introduced by the Minister Gary Marr at the House of, uh, the, House of uh, the Legislative uh, Assembly. This afternoon he'll be meeting with the Lieutenant Governor. Uh, tomorrow he's going to be honored with the First Nations at a sweat lodge. And for you children that don't know what that means, ask your mom and dads. And on Wednesday or Sunday he'll be out from about 1 to 5 out at uh, West Edmonton Mall. Of course it was all topped off by this tremendous uh, event here, Mayor Bill Smith. And uh, I want to thank uh, people like Don Melange and Bud Tree and Roger Page and all those others. But as Bill Smith certainly knows, if we started thanking every Edmonton volunteer, well, we'd include all of Edmonton. Thank you all for being here. Christopher and the mayor will be here for a few minutes, I believe, to, for interviews or some talk. But in the end, make sure when you're out there talking around that it is important, in fact, vital to sign the donor cards. And unfortunately, that isn't the end of it. There has to be some change in legislation to make sure that when you sign your donor card or when you're old enough to do it, that when that time comes, and God forbid that it ever should, but we all know the realities of life, that, that is honored by you signing a donor card and helping somebody else live. Thank you all, and have a great day in this city of champions, and thank you all for being here. presentation week as uh, uh, you know that uh, we're hosting the world's masters games here 
2005, and uh, I would like to, uh, George, present you with a hat. Now, before we uh, get to Chris, I, I do want to thank Mayor Bill Smith for coming on. Uh, mayors have extremely busy schedules, we know that. As soon as he heard about this, he wanted in. And we're so happy because Edmonton is a very important city. It's a big city. And having your mayor come up here and, and support this cause uh, sends a, a very positive si uh, signal throughout your community. And I uh, also want to thank Mother Teresa Elementary School this morning for organizing a great reception for Chris. So let's uh, introduce the uh, next and final guest speaker. I, hold on, Chris. I know. See, that's that's because he, he, you know, this guy's got so much energy. It's just unbelievable. Like right after he probably finishes this, he's gonna he's gonna want to keep doing uh, things, and he wants to go to the West Edmonton Mall, and uh, he wants all kinds of things. Let me tell you something. I met this young boy during my campaign across Canada, and uh, I uh, met in Sarnia. 10-year-old boy at the time that uh, had a big smile on his face and uh, wanted to carry this torch across the city and uh, he carried it like a champ. And at the end of the day, he lifted up his shirt and showed me all the scars on his stomach and told me he was on the waiting list for a liver transplant. And that nearly floored me because I wouldn't have had even the slightest indication or thought that anything was wrong with him. When he told me this with a smile, I thought I'd just met the most amazing human being. As I was making my way back, uh, after finishing my campaign, I met Christopher again two years later. And again, he had this big smile. He was waiting in, in Sarnia. And again, he wanted to carry the torch. I thought for sure he had received his liver transplant. Sadly, he told me he was still waiting. But he expressed a wish to me. And his wish was to carry a torch across Canada, not Sarnia anymore, Canada. And I thought, you know, I wish I could pull this off for him, because it seemed like impossible. You know, a boy that's been in and out of the hospital practically his whole life, waiting for a liver transplant, I just thought it was impossible to do. After finding out that his family was behind him, his doctor was behind him, his school was behind him, his whole community was behind him, I agreed to be his road manager, and you know what? I think I did my walk to meet this young, courageous man, this amazing young man, and please welcome Christopher Knowles. Uh, first, I'd like to uh, thank my uh, road team. Uh, on my right, uh, road manager George Marcello. Road Manager for Edmonton, Don Clark. I'd like to thank Fox and his team. Uh, I'd like to thank my dad slash driver for the motorhome, Kelly Knowles, in the back. And at the very, very back in the orange, uh, we got making a movie on me and documentary person, uh, Earl Roberts. So your mayor, all the media and applicants. Hi, my name is Christopher Knowles. I am 14 years old. I've been waiting for a liver my whole life. The disease that caused me needing a liver is called biliary atresia. It is a common disease among infants. Most infants die shortly after birth. So far, I've been fortunate enough to still be alive. I've been in and out of the hospital most of my life. I've had over 20 operations that saved my life. I'm doing this walk to bring awareness to the shortage of organ and tissue needed. That's why I thought to myself that there is a way to save people's lives. And if I save a lot of lives, it makes us all worthwhile. That's why I'm walking across Canada, to save the 4,000 men, women, and children that are in need of an organ. I'm trying to inspire everybody to be an organ donor. 
Tell your friends and family about your wishes. And if you do, you're my hero as well as everybody else's. Please don't take your arrogance to heaven. Heaven knows we need the mirror. Alone, I can't do this, but together we can. Please make my wish come true. Thank you.